Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different and I am going to be sharing with you how I dye some of my yarn. Um, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a tutorial on how to crochet, but this is something that I've been getting questions on. Um, it's something that other people seem to be pretty interested in. So I'm going to share some of what I've learned in the last six months to a year of dyeing yarn and hope that you find it helpful. And if you have any questions, anything I don't cover, feel free to leave that down in the comment section. So first things first, excuse the kitchen. Um, we're in the middle of renovating the kitchen. Um, you can follow along on Instagram if you're curious to see what it looked like before we did everything, um, but we're right in the middle of it. So everything you see behind me is a work in progress. Anyway, guys, we want to start off with what is called a hank. That is when your yarn is in this form. It's plain Jane. This is wool. I have it tied together with some scrap cotton yarn. And we are going to soak it in warm water for approximately 20 minutes um, before we put it into the dye bath. All right, now that it has sat for 20 minutes, I'm going to take it from the one pot where it's just water and it's been sitting to the second pot. And today we are actually dyeing with wine. Um, for the most part, I do use chemical dyes, box dyes. Um, that's how I can get my consistency of color for wholesale purchase, things like that. But I am playing around with doing some more natural plant-based um, food, avocado pits, stuff like that, dyes. And so today I'm doing a wine that was actually given to us by a customer. Um, neither one of us drink wine, so figured this would be the best use for it. This is the bottle that I'm using. It just says that it's a red wine. It's called Empathy. Um, made in California. I hope it's not a really, really nice bottle because I am using it. So don't yell at me if it is. So let's see. All right. So you can see here we have our one. We have our wine. This I am going to be heating up once I put this in there. Back to situated. Alrighty. And in it goes. Oh, it already looks so pretty. I did a um, wine colored dye in my fall collection. Um, this is just so much prettier. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to use wine. Um, the funny thing is that I actually did call it wine because that was the, the dark moody tone that I was going for in the first place. So. This is going to be so pretty. Let me see. I'm going to stir it up. Let me turn the burner on. And that is what it looks like right now. I do need to, to stir it up to even it out. But that's part of the fun with hand dyed yarn. Um, whether it's from me or from somebody else. I've always noticed I love the, the subtle color variations that happen when you're doing it yourself. So we are now going to leave it until it is boiling. Once it comes to a boil, we'll turn the burner off, we'll remove the pot from the heat, put it on a different burner to cool, and we will let it sit for however long I choose. I'm thinking a couple hours. I do want it to be nice and dark, probably two to three hours. So we'll jump back then. And with a little bit of movie magic, we have a dyed hank. This one is actually one that I did yesterday with the wine. Um, I did have plenty of leftover, that's why I had enough to 
film this video and not have to use a second bottle, which is really awesome. Um, the other really cool thing about wine is the acidity of the wine means that I don't have to add any vinegar like I normally would to a wool dye because it's already acidic. So we have this dyed piece right here. I am going to snip off this piece of cotton. That's how it was held together. So it didn't get tangled. I am going to stretch this mamma jamma out. Um, this one, honestly, I did not dye for nearly as long as the one. Actually, you can still see it. It's still in the pot. Um, I will take it out. I will hang it and let it dry for about 24 hours um, before doing this step. So this is all completely dry. Um, I'm hoping the one that's in the pot is actually going to come out a little bit darker than this one. So, take the yarn and I put it between my forefinger and my middle finger and then back around my thumb, almost like, you know, a little gun. And just stretch it out, make sure all the the pieces are even. You can either use your finger down here to twist it. However, I find it much easier. I have a knitting needle that I will just insert right into the middle and you are just going to twist it. You want to keep tension on it at all times and then twist it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Um, I'm at 20 right now. You always want to go like one or two further than you feel like it could go. Um, with this length yarn, I always feel like I can stop around 18 turns and then I, I do two more. I do 20 for this length. Then you want to stick your elbow and pinch both sides together. So where you have your, your finger and thumb twisted in there, you're going to pinch it. Then I take the needle out, still have it pinched in there, and then grab the middle, make sure that they are even, and you have the exact middle, and then let it go. And then I help it and twist it a little bit. Now you can take this piece that's folded over, and then you've got your piece that you've got pinched. You can pull this right over. And there you have it. See this piece? Okay, I'll probably tuck in. I'm really dyed with wine. All right, guys. I hope you found that helpful, informative, interesting. Um, whether you're dyeing some yarn yourself or you just were curious about the process, I hope that this helped you learn a little something, I guess, about it. There are so many different things, there are variations, there are techniques, but I hope that you found this video helpful. And if there's anything else you'd like to know or anything else you'd like to see dyed, drop it in the comments. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more, and I will see you next week. Bye.